Now our designer Hamish is back with some helpful and stylish solutions to create that computer and office space that we all seem to need in our homes. Morning Hamish. <laughs> Good morning guys. Okay yeah so this is a common thing I often see when I roll into people's houses. There's just stuff piled all over um, a the dining room table, maybe it's the side tables next to the couch. Worst of all it's the kitchen mm. bench. Uh, or, mm. or, or set of all of these things. This is, this is my <laughs> house. This is paper <laughs> everywhere. So, so basically um, if you have a, uh, well you don't have space for anything like this little picture you don't have room for that, I dream wow. of that. Uh, or this <gasps> uh, uh, or even this oh. uh, okay, we've actually got some solutions for you okay. oh. <laughs> I, yeah, am so I can't magically make that space appear for you yeah. okay. well, for the right price you probably could well you know my, we can talk later we yeah. go into the roof let's go into the roof very okay. expensive look so that, you're right that's what everybody needs and i hate clutter as well so what solutions have you got for okay us? the first one we're going to have a chat about is converting a closet to a workspace okay okay the, the, people actually have these little random wardrobes and bits and nooks especially in older homes that aren't used for anything mm -hmm. so we're gonna have a look at some little pictures and have a little chat about it okay so that is how simply it can be achieved right because we don't have huge devices anymore you know, yeah all our computers right. have shrunk yeah. they can fit in nicely you can have something like a drop down shelf there that's nice you know, and, and you only need a chair a stool that can tuck it away underneath that's got a section of bifold doors on it so it's slightly bigger integrating something into kitchen so maybe planning if you're doing a new kitchen to have a little recess like that built in for you that's cool because that's where you sit and do stuff like pay the bills and all that sort of thing that's well, right where you can spare sit and room. do homework so yeah. you, so you've so got a spare room at home you can use the double wardrobe in there and adjust it it, it's simple, it's pretty cost effective, you can do a lot of these sort of things yourself at home. Yeah, no, uh, that is very good. Okay, and what are the things you have to consider? You've obviously got to have the right space, but do you need PowerPoints Yeah, I stuff? mean, if you are going to need PowerPoints, it, it's quite surprising. A lot of cupboards back onto other areas like hallways, which actually have PowerPoints on the far side. So right. you, you should actually talk to your electrician, or if it's Easy. a cupboard, you can come down from the ceiling. Easy. Yeah, and you could like put a curtain over that if you didn't want to have a door and all that sort of thing. Exactly, and curtains are kind of cool. You can, get, you can make one yourself if you wanted to. If you wanted something with eyelets in it, you could... Um, you could get maybe a ready-made curtain done yeah. in that fashion. You could have a bit of fun with the fabric and become like a piece of art. You could do, a, do heaps of things. Nice smell. I'm leaving now. Now <laughs> your segment. Take over. Okay, so what next? Okay, next we're going to talk about floating shelves. Ooh, okay, yes. all right. So I we have a little some pictures here. Yeah. And this is how it's simply done with floating shelves. It's in a bigger recess. You can see it gives you a nice effect though. So you can decorate it as well. So the workspace isn't just about work, it's about being a pleasant environment. To I in. love those floating shelves. I think they're so stylish. Very simple and elegant here. Simple stool, rubbish bin can tuck away underneath. I mean, and that's literally your computer these days, as we yeah. all know. Yeah. Another example of it, a little bit more detail. You can see how someone's ended up with a bit more of a dog leg section they've had to work around. Fun and simple. And do you know you can buy floating shelves off the shelf for, <laughs> like that one, uh, for about $30 um, from certain sort of, you know, your hardware stores, your DIY stores, or they're actually simple enough to make. Because if you actually put two bands of ply or pine down the side wall of the wall, bit of MDF on top, pine across the middle and the front, and MDF again, you can slide it over the top and you just paint it up the colours you want. Nice. Yeah, I did this at my home recently. I had this big cumbersome wall unit, and anyway, I ripped it out and I put floating shelves up, and just the way it enhanced that space was incredible. I got some of that LED lighting that runs from your phone, and I put that along oh. one of the tops of the shelves, and all of a sudden, the plants are illuminated, throwing reflections onto the roof. Listen to you, you <laughs> technical creature. And I can change the colour of from my the lamp. Phone. I know. You should be in a magazine, Mike. Oh, things should things be. Like that? <laughs> I, yeah, I hear them calling, Mike. <laughs> yeah, no, it was great and easy to do. You're right. And I just got them from a local hardware store. They were cheap. Yeah. Next thing, dead spaces. Okay. So we're going to look a bit, everyone's going to recognise this sort of little mm -hmm. space. So we'll have a little picture. See the dead space sitting in the corner? Not much goes on. It's a simple shelf that's mounted to the wall. It, that's all it really needs to be. There's normally a PowerPoint there so you can, or a, um, a light switch you can change to. Another easy way you can do this sort of stuff yourself, it's getting a little fancier and a little more technical, it's like but it's, it's got like the drop down front like an old bu uh, bureau, it's bureau, a, it's, bureau, it's, bureau, it's like it an old, like, you know, old school where you used to sit and be on the telephone. Cor yeah. Back in ancient times it's, when people used is, the telephone. You can have that little thing with all the round circles to store your yeah. pens in. Very simple. Now that's actually Chef Mark's. Oh, nice. Believe it or not, Chef Mark has his own dead space conversion to an office. That's Go great. Mark! It's like the world's biggest chopping board in there. Okay. Under <laughs> <laughs> Underneath stairs, an obvious space that is often a dead space in a home. Ah, oh, brilliant. You can turn that into an area. So it's about thinking outside the square. Oh, that's Love cool. Love this. This is like a case that opens down from the wall. So it's almost like a little nice. piece of art that's on the wall. Not sure about the carpet on See, the, the wall. See, the problem, I would have to jam everything in though. It would be like I'd be shutting it and sort of like pushing it. Just oh, 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got a door on that space and the clutter's behind it. Just shut it when people come round. That's what it's for. We get Holly in. I hear she's quite good at decluttering. <laughs> she's going to need to declutter my house. Okay, so say you are like me yes. and there's five of you in the household. Three of them mm -hmm. are boys. Mm -hmm. um, they're messy, but they need their workspace for their homework and everything. I mean, generally we use, you can't even sit at our dining table. <laughs> stuff. Um, and the kitchen bench, Same. the island is half covered with stuff as well. I mean, yep. any tips for someone like us? Okay, uh, dining room table, my only tip is if you use it, pack it away afterwards. I, I mean, it's as simple as that, really. But when it comes to the kitchen benches, yeah. many ideas. We'll have a look at some pictures here of stuff that work. So you can actually create drawers now. Now, you know the drawers that actually hold basically all the junk that you've yeah, got lying around the house? You can never find stuff in Maybe because it's too much junk. Maybe empty that out and organise them. <laughs> and you can actually have, so you can get PowerPoints, <gasps> USB points, everything put in. So mm. it becomes the station that you've got as an area to put stuff away in. And you can retrofit stuff like this because there is power, of course, to things like fridges, dishwashers, waste masters already mm. in there. So you can take a drawer that's existing, get a registered electrician, convert one of your drawers to a tech drawer, which, let's face it, we should all probably have these days, and that. away you go. Because we've just got stuff everywhere, and we've got, like, chargers everywhere, and that's amazing. I know, I saw my dear wife working the other day, and she was sitting in amongst Star Wars land. Um, Hunter had <laughs> built Star Wars, and I, <laughs> toys everywhere, and there she was wedged at the end on a computer exactly. going, this just isn't working for me, Hamish. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what the mothers get, yeah. Uh, nice work, thank you so much, Hamish. That was no really good, I really enjoyed that. That yeah. was fun. Always a pleasure, never a chore. <laughs> Cheers, guys.